Hi subscribers, hi viewers. This was my last week in Zimbabwe before returning to China. Actually, I came back on a journey to collect some office equipment that I had left in Harare when I arrived in Zimbabwe. So I had to stop over in Gweru. I've got more content of uh, my one day in Gweru. Actually, I had to stay overnight, then leave the following day. But I managed to spend time with my cousin. He's in the military, and I, I had an opportunity to go see my investment. For the first time, I'd been buying this land to develop. Actually, my intention is to build a property in Guero. So it was my first time after buying the land to go buying the lot to go see it for the first time. I've got a very interesting uh, video which I'll be posting probably in the next few days and probably in the next few weeks but it won't be longer than a month. So it's a very, very interesting video. You can watch about a project, one of the projects I am doing in Zimbabwe. So the purpose of this uh, trip was to deliver some of my cousin. Uh, actually, he does order some fruits and vegetables from local farmers and sell them to the markets and sell them to the supermarkets and sell them to the restaurants uh, that's what he does during his spare time but anyway i've got an interesting story about guero very very interesting my experience of guero was in the first time i was in guero it was uh, i think around 2000 but i was just passing by and i had to stop over that was the first time in Guero, and the second time was 19 years later. Actually, I went to, I stayed in Guero on one of my mining adventures uh, with my Chinese business partner. We stayed in the Guero Hotel. We were working towards along the Sukamini Road. This is the road, actually. I've got a lot of stories, a lot of memories uh, on this road which actually takes you all the way to Sugamini. Now on our stay is, I seem to always get it wrong when I invest in Zimbabwe, but at least I've got some memories. And now, why I chose to buy a property in Guero is for one reason is my future investment in Zimbabwe with the businesses that I'm doing I will need a team that will handle my marketing. I will need a team that will handle the business administration. I will need some office workers. And Guero is in the center of Zimbabwe. Multicultural, different languages, and it's got a university. What more, how, what's the best way I can invest in Zimbabwe? The best way I can invest in Zimbabwe is finding a vibrant and willing to work workforce of young people. So I know I can get them from Guero and employ them, train them, while I'm teaching them new skills. So anyway, that's the main reason I chose to invest in Guero. Now, what is Guero like? One thing for everybody or anybody who has been to Guero, this place is very cold at night. During the day, it's warm. You might forget about the temperatures. At night, it does drop to almost minus temperatures. So I remember sleeping in a tent in a mine site, very freezing almost every day. And when I wake up, remember, I'm someone that has lived in the United Kingdom. Remember, I'm someone who is who's living in China, so I'm, I've got experience of minus degrees temperatures. Actually, I have experienced a minus 24 degrees Celsius temperature. But in Hara, it's a very seemed to shock me. 
every day because of the temperature what the weather will be like during the day the temperatures will be like during the day but in the evening they will drop and you will feel cold maybe the contribution is because i used to sleep in tents but anyway uh, we have arrived at our destination this is the market we're dropping off some cabbages i've got more content about guero please subscribe to the channel uh leave a comment and uh click on the notification icon to see future videos i want to do this can i